What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I figured I'd just dish on this for a second because I don't know, I want to. Um, the Console Energy Center, home of the Pittsburgh Penguins, will change its name to PPG Paints Arena for the next 20 years. I mean, now I'm not a Penguins fan, don't get me wrong, but I watch enough of them, obviously, because they're really good and I like watching good hockey. But. In the last, like, six years, it's gone from the Igloo to Console Energy to PPG. I mean, they're, they're like the Miami Dolphins with the arena name changes. And, again, it's not the end of the world, but it's still, like, just... The, I got to think about 30 teams and 30 arenas, and you're just changing names on the fly. So, and, again, it's one of the marquee franchises in the NHL. I mean, if, you know, Colorado were to change their arena's name or, you know, Carolina were to change to the IBC Center... I mean, anyone really noticed? No, but because it's Pittsburgh and they got all the great players, it's like, oh yeah. And even Tampa, well, actually, I, Tampa did it too. When I first moved down there in 2010, it was the St. Pete Times Forum, and then it became the Tampa Bay Times Forum, and then it became the Emily Arena, and there might have been another name in between Emily and the Tampa Times Forum. So yeah, I mean, I get it. The naming rights, money, the owners, and I, I, hey, I would never fault them for making a buck, but I mean, think about my brain. And going back to the Miami Dolphins Stadium, there was Sun Life, there were Dolphin Stadium, there were Land Shark Stadium, huge Jimmy Buffett fan right there. Then there was something else, and now they're uh, Hard Rock Barn Grill Stadium. So, I mean, I don't know. If I hit the lottery, we're going to rename Gillette Stadium Power Play with CJ. Or the, the House of Tom Brady. Sponsored by Power Play with CJ. So. And then the, and the, the TD Garden changed its name a bunch of times, too. It was obviously the Boston Garden when I was a, a wee lad. And then it was the Fleet Center, which just never really sounded right. And then it was the TD Bank North Garden, which was just a whole mouthful. And now it's the TD Garden. And I, I think TD's fine with it. And TD's actually made a lot of inroads into the Boston area with their banking, so... No big deal. Anyway, that's all I got. This episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the off season and beyond. Later, guys.